And joining me live now from Bengaluru is CN Ashwat Narayan. He's a BJP MLA from Maleshwaram, former Deputy Chief Minister, former Minister and uh, Senior Leader of the party in this state. Mr. Ashwat Narayan, welcome. Thank you for your time here on India Today. My first question to you, sir, is that it has been over three days since the blast at the Rameshwaram Cafe in Whitefield. No arrests have taken place so far. The case has now been handed over to the National Investigation Agency. Your thoughts, sir, on the fact that there doesn't appear to have been any headway. No arrests have been made so far. Uh, the incident really it has hurt the people's confidence and uh, it has really affected the people who have been hurt in this uh, bomb blast. I totally regret this incident and uh, I express my sympathy to those families. Uh, since the Congress government in the state of Gaur uh, Karnataka it has come to the power, we have been witnessing a lot of confusion. Each minister, you know, giving different statements and there is no governance, there is no focus. Somehow, the entire governance has been compromised, the priorities have been misplaced, uh, they have just been, you know, uh, consuming time, not been, you know, able to govern the state and address the law and order of the state of Karnataka very effectively. They have completely failed. So probably this has given more scope for the anti-national forces to get into all kind of activities to disturb the peace, uh, to take the lives and hurt the people. So probably in this direction, the, the Home Ministry or the State Congress government has completely failed. Let me make it very, very clear. Some of this government appears to have a very soft approach towards this anti-national forces. But Mr. Ashwat Narayan, you know, even before the investigation has, uh, you know, made any conclusions as far as motive is concerned or even the identity of the suspect. The BJP appears to have already started bashing the government from the first day itself, saying that this is because the Congress government has been, uh, you know, uh, nurturing snakes in your backyard, etc. Uh, isn't that unnecessary politics when a serious investigation is going on, sir? How do you defend that? See, uh the incident, what has happened three days is, uh, is the repercussion or the mm. effects of what the Congress government has been doing for the past nine months in the state of Karnataka. Even earlier, many of the terrorist groups were arrested. Even when they were arresting this and terrorist groups or the people who were involved in the terror activity, the investigation was going on. And as in a people or a political parties, when we made any statements, the minister, the home minister or the Congress government is to come to the defense of those people, don't brand them even before the investigation is completed. So those kind of, you know, anti-national forces what were, who were arrested, they wanted even to have a soft approach towards them. When a cooker bomb blast, person was, you know, arrested because the prematurely it got blasted when he was carrying. Even they didn't want to call him a terrorist. They wanted to call him as a brother. Hmm. So probably the entire approach having a soft approach when the police forces, the police forces, can they have a clear mission, clarity? When the government itself is having such a kind of soft approach, can you expect the police department or the home department to effectively work? They expect them to be having a soft approach. You know, you can't, you know, investigate very freely. They will not have that kind of freedom and the enti entire government is having a soft approach towards the entire this uh, terror group or the terror links. So some of this been appeasement politics, the appeasement politics or the soft approach, not having clarity, not having a strong approach, uh, zero tolerance was not there. So okay, this you're making zero tolerance... Not you're making a very serious charge, government. sir. You're saying that appeasement politics and a soft approach uh, is what has facilitated such an attack, even though we don't know just yet, uh, you know, what the motive or the identity of the person is. I wanted to make that very clear since...